Well guys, I'm back in the car again. I feel like so much footage recently has been filmed whilst I'm in the car. The Joel Wood on tour has come to an end, nearly. Uh, so I'm just leaving my boyfriend's house up north and I'm driving down to my brother's house and he's got Ava, he's been having Ava for the last few days. And then after picking Ava up from theirs, I will head to my parents and I'll sleep one more night at my parents tonight and then tomorrow morning I will drive back to London. So the tour has nearly come to an end. I'm apologizing for my hair, I haven't done my hair today. So yeah, please forgive the hairstyle. I am exhausted, I am so tired. I don't know why, because especially the last two nights I've had a really good sleep and like a long sleep as well, so I don't know why I'm so knackered. It must be this month catching up with me and I really hope that I don't get ill. You know when you've been away for a while and then as soon as you stop, that's when you get ill. So I'm hoping that won't be the case. September, the next month, my birth month is a... Uh, is nearly upon us and it's a bit quieter in terms of I'm not going away for any extended period of time but I am here there and everywhere starting on September 1st which is Thursday in a few days time where I'll be back in London for a few days and then I'm traveling back home again to see my dad for his birthday and then I'll go back to London and then the next week I'm coming back because my best friend Mina who lives in Vegas is coming back to the UK for her sister's wedding so um, I want to see her and obviously I've got my birthday, lots of birthday plans, and so, yeah, it's gonna be a nice month, I think, but yeah, hopefully a bit less busy than August has been. I'll stop complaining about being busy now, because I feel like that's all I've done is complain about, woe is me, woe is not me. I'm loving it and enjoying it, but yeah, it's just, just can't wait to get back into a routine. And I just need a cuddle with Ava on the sofa. Five hours later. I've got someone on my seat next to me. You can't see her, so this is pointless. There you are. Yeah. We are home, aren't we, Ava? Come here. Uh, she's just been napping. She's so tired from being on tour. <laughs> While I've been away, Ava's been at my parents with Oscar and then she's been at my brother's with Crumpet and they've got a cat as well. And so she is absolutely knackered, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just cooking Ava some food because I don't have any food for her. I took the last of my food home with me for while I was away and while I was away her food is on a subscribe and save order from Amazon so it's supposed to come every four weeks uh, so I don't even have to think about it. However her food is not being delivered. They, they said they don't have any of it in stock and apparently it's been that way for you know just over a month now. Mum and dad say they haven't been able to see that food in any of the shops anywhere so I'm wondering if that food brand has gone bust. Anyway, so I haven't been out to get her any new ones today, but I will go to the pet shop tomorrow to find her something similar. But in the meantime, I'm gonna give her some tuna and rice for dinner, which I think she'll prefer anyway. And as you can see, I've been doing a whole bunch of washing. I've washed three pairs of trainers as well. And I'm getting back on my healthy eating. So tonight I'm having mixed taco beans with tofu, a pepper, and an aubergine. Um, and as a snack now, I've got enough calories that I can have a little pitta with some Marmite. Here we go. Come on then. Good girl. Mmm. That was so quick. Ava, I left you for like two minutes. I didn't think you'd eat all that rice. You hungry girl. Good morning guys, it is early, it's 8am and I'm walking to the station because I've got to go in central London, I have a minor surgery today on Harley Street in central London. I don't know why I booked it in for 9.30am because that meant I got up at like 7.15, I had to feed Ava again, but again I don't have her food so I had to quickly make her up some rice and some tuna. So I'm all in a bit of a rush, but I'm walking to the station now. I haven't really had time to think about it, so I don't feel that nervous, although now I'm walking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna go into it. It's one of these things I've thought about, oh, should I just like chat about what I'm going <laughs> to Harley Street for? Um, because I have in the back of my mind, like lots of my friends and family, whenever I go through things, um, they're like, oh, you could talk about it and like that would really help people online who also are suffering with the same thing or who also struggle with this or that or no matter what it is, if it's mental, physical, whatever. And I agree. However, I feel I've been open and honest about a lot of things. This is just one of those things where I'm like, you know what, I don't really want to be open about this sort of thing. So forgive me for not 
telling you about it. But yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I've got my gym kit and my laptop with me so that afterwards, if I'm allowed to go to the gym, I can. I don't think I will be allowed, but there is a chance that they won't be able to do the surgery today. If that's the case, the silver lining will be, well, I can go to the gym. Um, but I've got my laptop so I can do some work and I'm getting my hair cut later on this afternoon. So it's just a, a personal maintenance day. But I thought I'd bring you along with me because every time I go into central London, it's a bit of a new thing for me now. Um, yeah, yeah, I just sort of stay where I live in London. I don't really leave because uh, I love it so much here. So anytime I do get to go into central London now, I'm like, oh, I'll bring my camera and I'll film it. I know lots of you will be used to waking up at like 7.15 and that's normal. I do feel very lucky that I don't have to do that anymore. I spent basically all of my late teenage years and 20s getting up early at like sometimes as early as 5 a.m., usually at around 6, 6.30. I worked on a farm from like 17 to 21, so at the weekends and holidays when all my friends would be sleeping in, I'd be getting up at like 6 uh, so that I could get to the farm for 7. Then university, well drama school, you had to still get in really early. It wasn't like university where you could have a lie-in if you didn't have a lecture. And then, ever since graduating from university, I worked um, in a theatre in the evenings, um, but during the daytime, I'd do promo work, so I'd be getting up at sometimes like 5 a.m. to try and get to the location for like six. Um, I'd work all day and then all evening and like, so ever since I went full-time on YouTube in 2018, I was like, I'm never getting up early again, unless I have to, and today is one of those days. Well, I've arrived at Oxford Circus and uh, I'm actually 32 minutes early, so I have plenty of time now to get a coffee and try and relax. Act like a fool, not aware we're troublemakers. Harley Street and the surrounding area are so beautiful. There's so many lovely old buildings. And if you don't know, Harley Street is like the UK's medical capital. I mean, it's the most overpriced area to like get anything done. The fun thing though is to do a bit of celeb spotting because um, this is where all the celebs come for their plastic surgery or for their like health checkups and things like that. It's where I've been for my hair transplant. It's where I went for my eyes lasered. I'm only here today because this is the earliest appointment they had. I tried to book up north, but they were like, like oh you can't because they were like oh the wait will be a lot longer up north because we don't have as many slots available whereas on Harley Street we have like multiple per day so that's the only reason I'm here but yeah you do pay a bit more to be seen on Harley Street which you know can't complain about the sights you know the buildings are beautiful so I'll just take that in they try to be cool not being givers only takers Look at these doors, they're so lovely. Literally every single one of these buildings on every single floor is a different medical, dental, doctor, plastic surgeon, someone. Who you wanna be for a minute? Don't get over your head, you're like everyone else on here. You could gain from being a bit nicer. Knowing it's all when it shuts your mouth. Oh wow. I think I've just found a really beautiful part of Harley Street. Doesn't this look like In Love Actually? When the guy comes up to the door with all the signs. Wow. I feel like such a tourist because people live here, but gorgeous. What I think is nice about these muse houses is that it's not noisy. This is in the centre of London. The nearest station is Oxford Circus, the busiest place in London. And this is just off Oxford Circus, but you can't really hear any traffic because no traffic is allowed through here. Amazing. I've also just got a message from the boy and my mum, so I better reply before I go in, otherwise they'll think I've died. Okay, all done. That is less than half an hour, which was good. It was uh, a little bit painful, but um, dealt with it. I need to voice note everyone now. Leah has messaged me, my mum and my boyfriend, I need to update them. Right, I've come to reward myself. Granola flapjack, 
flat white with oat milk. And I'm gonna do some work on my laptop or read a book, I'm not sure. But this is the view. You can watch the world go by. met a very lovely viewer in that card shop. What are the chances? How very odd. Yeah, it's always great meeting people that watch my videos. And we were chatting about drama school because she's been to drama school. By the way, if you're watching and that was you, I'm sorry I didn't ask your name. <laughs> I was very shocked that someone had recognized me and I love chatting about drama school and acting and all those sorts of things. So, um, yeah, oh, well, that's nice. That's brightened my day. I've got my cards. Basically, I've been birthday card shopping for my dad, whose birthday is tomorrow, and Lucy, my housemate, whose birthday is on Saturday. So, just need to get some presents now. You know what I like about meeting you guys is that, it, like, some people do just wave and they don't really want to have a chat, but usually if someone recognizes me for my videos, I like to have a chat with them and a conversation to get to know you. And usually someone's got something they want to talk to me about, whether like some people want to talk to me about Ava, and that they've got a Cocker Spaniel as well. Some people want to talk to me about my hair transplant or some people want to tell me about their weight loss journey because they know I've had a weight loss journey. And like the girl I just met wants to talk about drama school and I love that. Like. It's just really nice to uh, have a different experience with each person. So, yeah, I don't meet many drama school graduates, so that was a nice competition. There's my gym. Can't come in today. Sorry. I did a bit of editing, um, I didn't do that much and I feel like the less I've gone into London to coffee shops to edit, I used to do that all the time and I still fantasize about, oh, if only I could do that more, but obviously I have Ava. Um, and even though Lucy's with Ava today, I'm still like, oh, what's the time? Oh, I need to get back and all these things. I can't fully relax and now I just, I'm like, oh, I could just edit on my sofa instead of paying £3.50 for a coffee and then another coffee and then another coffee. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm gonna head back home. I'm reading my book about mindfulness. Welcome and uh, yeah, Western when I have my hair cut age. at three o'clock, I'm gonna then go shopping for presents then. Um, I could have just got the cards then as well, but um, never mind. Oh guys. I've driven out of London now. Oh, I can't get out, my legs really hurt. Ah. To get to the bigger pets at home, because there's one near where I live in London, but it's small, so I've come to this massive one to hopefully get what I need. I'm even a VIP member, so I hope I get some good discounts. Oh my gosh, like I'm home with a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Dog food, John. Dog food. You do not need another pet. There we go. That was the last box of fourth glade. So, chuffed to get that and a whole bag of IAMs. I used to feed Ava on a brand called Tails, and like, I do not recommend them anymore. I fed Ava on Tails. Let me put the AC on. I fed Ava on Tails since she was born because my parents had Oscar on Tails and my brother had Crumpet, their dog on Tails. And they've got amazing branding. And initially, all of the dogs really liked it. But then suddenly, Oscar really went off it and he didn't like it and he refused to eat it. Then Ava stopped eating hers and didn't like it. And now Luke's saying that Crumpet's doing the same, he doesn't want it. So we've all canceled our Tails subscription. I think they must have changed a recipe or something. So I don't know about anyone else. And if you've heard about Tails through me, I can only apologize because at the time they were brilliant. And I still think they're probably a good brand, but I think they must be going through a rough patch where just like, it can't be a coincidence that all three dogs in my family 
are not eating their tails food anymore. So I've moved Ava onto IAMS and on Fourth Glade because she likes a mix of wet and dry. Um, but yeah, let's go. Hi everyone, long time no see. Although actually I've just realized that that is completely one-sided because <laughs> I've taken the last three, four days off from filming. I haven't picked up my camera at all. Whereas you guys won't notice the difference. So um, yeah, I've just, and whilst I've been away, I've had a shave. I've been paddle boarding with uh, Lucy and her boyfriend, Adam. <laughs> I love that you're using your full body, not just your arms. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me because you're currently in a waterproof pouch, even though I think my phone is actually waterproof, but here we are. I have no idea where we are. Um, just Lucy drove us here. Well, actually Adam drove us here, but either way, I didn't pay attention to where we are. I think we're in Surrey. It's not too far from London, about 45 minutes we're in the car for, but it's lovely. No one's fallen in yet. I've just had a little break at uh, the lazy way of paddle boarding. My feet start aching when I've been stood up too long. Oh, this is lovely. Look how nice that is. That looks like I went to Shakespeare's birthplace in Stratford upon Avon last week. It looks just like where he was born. Which was lovely. I made some cookies as well for Lucy's birthday. What else have I been doing? I've been I've been to Orange Theory this morning. I've started back at Orange Theory again. Um, I did a workout on Saturday and a workout uh, today. I'm just considering shall I start it up again long term. I'm just weighing up the options because I do miss it. As you know, if you've been watching a long time, you know I used to do Orange Theory like every day of the week, which is a workout. If you're not sure what it is, it's a big hit workout where you do weights and running and rowing, all sorts. Anyway, I have a lot to do today and I'm very excited. I feel very happy and positive today because I'm like, oh, I've got a free day to crack on with everything. The only thing I need left doing today, and it's only just gone 12 noon, is walk over, but I'll do that later on. But I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with all the stuff that I've got to do and I definitely feel like I'm procrastinating a little bit and just because I don't know where to start so I think I need to make a to-do list. But before I do that, I'm going to make my dessert for the evening. I think I've told you guys, I think I might have vlogged it when I was at my parents' house. My favourite new dessert is using quark. Yes, I do remember I did post this because all the comments were, what the hell is quark? So quark is like a soft cheese. So it's in the cheese section, like with the Philadelphia cheese. However, it doesn't taste cheesy at all. It tastes like a yogurt, like a really thick Greek yogurt. It's very high in protein and low in calories. So I mix together the quark, I whisk it up with jelly, and then it becomes like a flavoured mousse. And it's really nice. It's very high in protein, low in cows, and it fills you up. But I'm going to make that now. There we go. It's all whisked up real good. Time to pour it in here and then you just put it in the fridge and it's basically a lovely fruity creamy mousse. So as you guys know I tend to have like lentils and tuna for lunch in these sort of packs but the ones that I have had for months and months and months as to have discontinued them which I'm really upset about. So I was hunting in the shop yesterday and I was looking down every aisle because I was like surely there must be something equivalent and I saw these from the gym kitchen and they've got various different flavours. These say barbecue lentils, 20 grams of protein, 273 calories, and you just warm them up in the microwave. And the ones I had taste really good. And these also look, I mean, the branding looks so much better than the other ones, um, but they were more expensive. They were £1.50 a pack as opposed to £1 a pack. But I thought I'd give them a go. But then I was in the freezer aisle and I saw these pizzas from the gym kitchen that again, 20 grams of protein and only 331 calories. So I'm gonna have that for my lunch. You can see it's like the size of my hand and it looks pretty decent. In my head, I'm thinking this will be gross. I am thinking that, I'm gonna be honest. But I hope I'm pleasantly surprised, so I'm gonna try it and I thought I'd let you guys know. I know there is a bunch of you who follow me because of my health and fitness journey and lots of us share little tips and stuff via DMs and so I'm, I'm doing this for you guys, but I'm also doing it for me because I freaking love pizza. Um, so 331 calories for a pizza is really good. Let's just hope it tastes good. Right, here we go. Pause you guys. I'm watching Tyler and Todd. Time to try this pizza. I mean, it looks good and it smells good. So I'm gonna give you the verdict. Right, sorry for this camera angle, but 
this is all I could do. I need to get a little tripod. I think I'd need to like do a big buy on my business. I need to buy like uh, a little tripod that like Leah has. Um, I've got a big tripod. I need a new ring light. Um, there's just a few things that I'm in need of really. And I wanna just try and make my videos better. Like just increase the quality. Anyway, obviously gotta have ketchup, so. Okay. Mmm. Okay. So, I love it. Tastes really good. I think it's gonna fill me up. It's gonna satisfy me because I love pizza and I miss pizza when I don't eat it because it's not often on track with my goals. That said, if you're not trying to like be healthy and eat healthily, which you don't have to, by the way, whenever I talk about health and fitness, I'm just talking about me. If you don't want to do any of that, that's absolutely fine. Don't judge anyone. Um, but if you were to have that, if, if you're watching this and you're not, you know, that bothered about eating healthy, you would probably try this and go, no way, I just want a real pizza. I have that, that self-awareness that this is not like a normal pizza. In the same way that my protein cookies, I love them. I have one a day, every day, and I have done for years. I love it. Does it actually taste as good as a normal cookie? No, of course it doesn't, but it's, it's good. This is great. I'm gonna keep adding this to my daily routine. I can't remember how much I paid for it. That's the only thing. I really, really like that. I'm very, very impressed with how they've crammed so much, or so little calories into a pizza. Love it. Right, back to Tyler and Todd, who are refurbishing their dome That's in the forest. That's work we did last week. <laughs> Ava's just had her walk and a bath. And now, ah, <laughs> sit. We've got this little treat. I don't know what it is. It's some part, it's part of an animal. There you go. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I have just poured myself a decaf coffee in my favorite mug, my Nashville mug. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. It really makes me very happy that you've chosen to spend some of your day with me. If you could give the video a like, that would really help me out. And leave a comment down below. I'll try to reply to as many of you as possible. Also, don't forget, I have memberships available on this channel. I know you've heard me bang on about it all the time, but I'm just really, really enjoying having a membership club. And I know I've had one for a long time, but only fairly recently have I decided, actually, no, I'm gonna dedicate a lot of my time to building this membership club. So we, we do members only videos, as you know, we do members only live streams, and this is all on the VIP tier, by the way. The supporting tier, you get badges next to your name. The VIP tier, you get badges next to your name and all the extra content. So it's really good fun, and I'm sure, as you can see by these comments, that people love being members, and I'm so grateful to any of you who have chosen to become members. I have it on my to-do list to start editing the next members only video, which will be live in about five days time. But yeah, very, very excited. I hope you all have a really, really great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.